we are in our motorhome in England. How's the driving? Well, we're in the Cotswolds, which is a very tight place, very narrow streets. You mean like this? Yeah, it's gonna get worse up here, I think. Uh, what's the name of the town we're in? We are currently in Winchcombe. Winchcombe, and driving on the left side of the road and sitting on the right side of the vehicle are not so bad because we had experience with that in uh, Australia. But like if you look down the street as we go, we can look to the left. Okay, take a look over here as we make the turn. You'll see this is uh, this is even so bad. This is like a big two-way street. Yeah, this is pretty broad. For uh, we're gonna take a left turn here down this two-way <laughs> street. This is a two-way street here. If you say so. This is a two-way street. Look at there's a car coming <laughs> the other way, and you see they're waiting for us. They have no choice. Yep. We are filling the entire street here. <laughs> we might have to pull the mirrors in. I think we're okay here. And we give a wave. Thank you. So I want to just check and see. <laughs> no, I'm not sweating I that much. I was looking for sweat on your brow. <laughs> no, I'm not sweating that hard. It's, this is one of the reasons why I'm very happy to have a professional driver on board. <laughs> yeah, well, this is like, and take a look in front of us. You see the beautiful little homes and... Oh, it's adorable. Uh, the, these towns are absolutely adorable, but you come to these little narrow spots like this, and we have to, someone has to stop and wait for the other person to go. There we go, and you kind of squeeze by. It's a little dosey do. Yep, and, and now you get this, these lovely little lanes. This is a two-way street. You can hear our dishes rattling here too. There's no, there's oh, no, no skin in between them. Everywhere we go in these little towns, there are sections of the street that are too narrow for two-way traffic and parked cars, and it doesn't matter. They're up here anyway. So like here, you'll see what we have to do here. We have to kind of pull over to the side a little bit <laughs> to let this guy go through. And that isn't even as tight as it gets. Yeah, this is another little example of the narrow roads here. If you take a look ahead, you can see that it's a two-way street, but there's it's only wide enough, really, for two ways, but they got parking as well, so everybody's squeezing past. You gotta kind of wait and take your time, pull over, and you can see people up ahead of us are needing to move out of this lane uh, sometimes traffic has to stop completely in one direction if two vehicles coming toward each other are too wide. It's it's fun. It's hairy. But you take your time and people give way and you know see other vehicles coming and it works out. And it's close, but you've got to go slow, especially in these towns. So uh, be prepared. If you're going to come here and drive in England, and particularly here in the Cotswolds, you better be steely nerved or something. You better put that away. I gotta make a hairy hard left here. <laughs> Keep any of it actually. Uh, I wanna show you a look at a country road and what it's like here. This road is exactly the width of our motorhome, plus maybe a foot. And it's a two way street. And if you take a look straight ahead here, you'll see what this looks like. And you gotta be careful in turns because oncoming traffic, you know, you're not going to see each other. And these, li these little turnouts like this on the right here, where someone can pull off and let the other vehicle go. So every time you come up to another vehicle on a road like this, you've got to be alert. And somebody has to give way. It's usually whoever gets to the turnout first, pulls over and lets the other one go. But you've really got to be looking ahead, especially in the turns. We've come to a couple of spots where there was kind of a blind turn and you come around the corner and there's a vehicle coming straight at you and you swear you're not gonna get through. But again, you can see here, this is like very typical country lane here. And in case you're not able to tell, this is just wide enough for one vehicle, like a driveway, but it's a two-way street. And if another vehicle comes up toward us here, you'll see what's gonna happen that somebody's gotta give way and somebody might have to back up. It's tight. So believe it or not, this is a two-way street here. There's a 
light at the end of the tunnel. There's a light at the end of the tunnel, but this is a two-way street. And you can see it's a little bit of width here that you could pull over if you had to to get somebody squeezing by. But the big thing is just hoping you're not going to see anybody coming toward you, because if you do, it could be tight. It will be tight. Oh, look at that. That's a, that's a pheasant in the road right there. <laughs> Luckily, he's oh, there's another away. one. Keep, keep it in. There's another one up ahead. deal with a one-lane road that goes two directions. Okay, this delivery truck is pulling over for us. Kind of tight. We'll squeeze through, give them a wave. Ha, ha, ha. 